right, it's the Scotch Test Dummies. We're going in with the Michter's Toasted Oak Bourbon. Toasted Barrel Finish Bourbon. There's no toasted 40, oak in it. 45.7%. Dang it. What are you doing? What are we, you might as well finish it. Nope, your turn. Tested! Of course, it's not your turn. It's always your turn. Thank Once you. Once in a while, it's my turn. But you nailed the names better. Yeah. Butter, butter. Hopefully, this is like butter. Toasted barrel finish. Kentucky straight bourbon whiskey, 45.7 ABV. For those that uh, like their proofs, that's a odd number at 91.4. <laughs> this is batch 21G. 21G. 21G 2063. 21 OG. Kind of rolls. Toasted barrel finish. 45.7%. 40, I actually thought. Now we've it's been a few years. We've had Nickers Toasted Barrel Rye, which was awesome. Which is one of my favorites. Yeah, you know, when one you of the said best Toasted Mick Barrel Mickers, I was like, yeah. "Ooh!" And you're like, "Bourbon." I had assumed this one was cast strength, like the Rye's are. Mm -hmm. or maybe they're not cast strength, but they're a higher. They're high. Um, they, no, they might be labeled barrel strength. Okay, I'm not sure on that, but I remember ours was the one we had was 52, 55 percent. <laughs> this one 45.7 kind of surprised me. I thought they would be higher. You thought it'd be higher. It's got an interesting nose. But it's not. Nope. I get a lot of brown sugars. Brown sugar. I hear a lot of people pronounce this Michters. I'm like, I don't think that's right. I'm pretty sure it's Michters. Yeah, you'd think it had the Mick. No, they Mitch. pronounce it what? Michters. Michters? Yeah. There's no way. My nephew Michael's over here. You ever heard anybody pronounce it Michters? He yeah, has. It's, it's like a popular. Michters. How do you pronounce it? Michters. Michters. Mick. He's got yeah. the Mick. It's got to be Mick. When Can't you hear when you, when you hear when you hear Mitchters, do you think the people are mispronouncing it? Yes. Yeah, I do mm. too. Do you correct them when you hear it? No, me neither. No, because <laughs> they can say it whatever way they want. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> if I'm sure there's a Scotsman well, out there like, oh, and, and I've heard you guys pronounce different yeah <laughs> so, Scotch distilleries. Fact is, my my nephew Michael from North Dakota, he's go down for the holidays. Get down. Brought, you go down. That sounded down. great. You said he's go down. I was like, I love this that. Is, that was cool. This is he's one of his bottles. So we've got a <laughs> oh, couple. He bought you. a couple of allocated bottles. Even we don't get here. Right. Uh, so, but he brought them go down here. Go down. Go down. Go down. Go down. We just got attacked by Canada. <laughs> he's used to it up there in North Dakota. Mm. The United States was under full attack by right. Canada. They came go down. I don't know how we're gonna Ooh. retaliate. <laughs> send <laughs> send some of our movie stars up there. We can get, we can send them get up <laughs> instead of get down. That's nice nose. It's I got know a lot of cola. Up. Yeah, it's got a lot of cola on it. Man, some root beer to, barrel. Maybe that's the nose because the nose is a little bit more pronounced. It's definitely there. It could be the root beer barrel. Well, I told you I got the brown nose. sugars. Almost grassy. A little bit of, uh, of cola or a uh, uh, root beer barrel there, too. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, a little bit of grassy note. I just got that. Like a hay. Cinnamons. Mm. Yeah, nice. A little bit darker nose than what we get off of a lot of, of uh, bourbons. Wow, that's really... Um, it's kind of nice and rounded. Soft, if you can describe a taste as soft. Hmm. And again, just a nice kind of a a cola, sweet, cream finish. I like that. Yeah. That's good. A little bit richer, a little bit more depth on the palate uh, than some. Brown sugars, cinnamons, root beer barrel candy. Mm -hmm. The root beer almost, starts coming through more in the finish. Almost a little peach. Almost got like a peach cobbler. Oh, I don't know I thought I got you that said on peach. I was about to slap you. I was like, ain't no Pete. And then you said oh, Peach. Peach. Yeah, I thought she said Pete. I'm like, shut up, man. I, I thought you said Pete. I said it with a B. No, not Pete. Peach, I thought B. you were, yeah, you know where my mind goes. Pete. Isla, baby. But, yeah, you were, ooh. Peach. I did not get peach. But cola, root beer, rounded, smooth, nice. Mm. I almost feel like I'm in a, in a barbecue shack and got peach cobbler after I ate my ribs. 
Really? Yeah. So you like got the real rub. You got a good mm, rub. No, just with taste. just the peach cobbler sitting there in the in the barbecue place. Hmm. Peach cobbler, a little bit of vanilla ice or ice cream with yeah. it. Yeah, yeah, that's the cream I'm definitely getting. Root Almost beer. like a, a vanilla bean. Mm. <laughs> it's that that vanilla's popping. Hmm. That's yeah, a nice vanilla toasted bean. oak. Because mm -hmm. that vanilla is popping, but it's not overwhelming. It's, it seems like it's helped a lot. Of, so a lot of toasted, bar retoasted barrel scotches, things like that. You really get a lot more toasted character. I'm not really getting. There's not a lot of toast. A lot of a lot of times you're like, okay, there's toasted peaches, there's toasted caramel. Well, being a toasted. bourbon barrel, it's got to be a virgin barrel. So if they put a toast on it, it's going to be a little bit lighter of a burn. So you won't have as much char if it's just a toasted barrel but that's a toasted barrel finish so mm -hmm. what they just put it into a toasted barrel as a finish yeah i want to know more i mean yeah. this is no number four char though on the first you can i just don't get as much of an oak finish here yeah uh -uh. no sweeter caramels brown sugar cinnamons okay after full maturation and a hand selected charred white oak barrel they then finish the bourbon in a new barrel that has been toasted to our exacting specifications. Mm -hmm. A peak flavor that's further mellowed by our signature. I mean, someone looks at someone. Someone looks in the barrel and goes, "Hit it a little bit more." <laughs> There's a signature go, filtration. Mm, go, Give it a little <laughs> bit more. Yeah, that's we're that's exacting a, the specifications. <laughs> I want that job. A little more. Mm -mm. <laughs> Slight more. As, as old Jimmy on Friday <laughs> Jimmy. drinking. Ting Ting. He's missing his eyebrows. I told the Jimmy story with the Ting Ting the other day, and uh, the OG Brower and the OG Mo were, were on the floor. They, they Your legend lived on. Because <laughs> I was I was like stacking cordwood, and they were like, wow. And then I go, Bruno said it was just a Ting Ting. And they were, that was it. They were done. You know what I'm talking about. Mm -hmm. Not sure everybody there does. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Water brought out more of the grassiness. Oh, oh god dang! I didn't do the water. Made it made it a little bit more astringent. I think a little bit more of the oak showing. Oh, I don't like either. Try of it. You gotta try it though. I so was gonna. Know. I was gonna re re top it. Well, here just no. You want, oh. No. Uh -uh. Okay, uh -uh. Just now we're this, at the this, same this bottle level. came down. <laughs> so I only did a little bit. So this is gonna be just a touch of water. I usually don't like those oak. And yeah. uh, barrel chars as much. That's yeah. just a real Water. small drop. Water made it happen. Yep. And normally actually, I would say no. Actually expanded, I think, and even made the finish draw out a little bit. Hmm. Oh, mm. you were not lying. <laughs> wow. There's a little more char there and a mm -hmm. little more oak. Mm -hmm. That's interesting. I would drink this neat. <laughs> For those that don't know, with my bourbons, I like less of an oak wood finish. But this gives both folks that like more and less mm. the option to do it. I would drink it with water. Well, I like that. Mm -mm. I like that oak and that char and that finish right there. It was good before, though, too. Nice. Well, do we have a shot of Patreon? You can oh, score, we gotta it. score it. 87. Um, 87 neat. I like the colas. This surprised me. I got to admit, I wasn't sure how this toasted finish was going to, was going to roll. And I liked it. Neat. 88. Right mm. there with you. Yeah. Yeah. Good job. If but it was higher ABV, if this was 55%, I think this probably would have hit 90. See, I thought they hit really. You thought it would give a little bit more of those velveties or something? Because I thought it hit a good ABV. It'd be a little bit more, con no, it'd be a, a lot more flavor in there. It'd be a little bit more concentrated i thought they did diluted. good I th it is a weird 45.7 I, I wonder if maybe there wasn't much more this might be pretty darn close to what the barrel proof was that's what i was thinking mm. just saying it seemed odd but mm. <laughs> we've got a shout out we uh, what's a what's the price on this michael retail 250 <laughs> 100 bucks oh 100 dollars I don't know. And I know the secondary is higher than that. Really? Uh, you know, if you're gonna if you're gonna pay a hundred for it mm -hmm. um, to drink, mm -hmm. no, it's not bad <laughs> to stare at on the shelf. Still no, it's not bad. 
<laughs> that would be top end if I paid one fifty for it. I'd be ah, a, little, a little disappointed. Yeah, I'd be furious. One fifty. <laughs> furious. You're furious. I'd be angry. <laughs> Ain't no one fifty. Yeah. I wouldn't yeah. even. I wouldn't even know what it tasted like at that level. Mm. I'd be like, mm -mm. Mm. I'd roll over that McCallum. Cherries and red hot cinnamons. Add those in there <laughs> with water on the finish. Now coming in. It is tasty though. I enjoyed it. Yeah. That was very nice. That was very nice. Very good. So we're rolling over Patreon. If you want to help us uh, and support the show, it's how we buy all of our bottles. Um, we have supporters, and if you support for at least two dollars. Or a dollar, we just say your name. Two dollars, we shout it with gusto. But this is a speaking, not a shouting. Robert Sheard came in. Robert Sheard. Thank you, Robert. Thank you, Robert. I was ready to shout, Robert. I was ready to shout. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, go to patreon.com. Look up Scotch Test Dummies. You can help support us there. You can go to scotchtestdummies.com and buy coins, glasses, hats, shirts, hat. dropper sets, all that kinds of stuff. shirt. Helps support the show. Helps keep the lights Not on this. and keeps the whiskey flowing. Not that. Unless my nephew comes down from North Dakota Ooh. more often. When he comes, get down. <laughs> Scotch it. You. Scotch. Guys. Who launch it? No, that's it.